what's happening? It's a different video from me. I'm actually in Bury at the minute. I want to tell you why I'm in Bury at the minute. Nice day today. So I'm in Bury because I need a new job. I need a new job because I won't take my last job. Um, or quit. It's a bit of a shame really because I like that job. But I'll let this traffic pass first. But the certain things I won't or I don't tolerate in the workplace. Um, the certain rules when it comes to him. So there's certain rules in the workplace that, you know, they, they must be obeyed. Um, but some employees decide not to do this and they decide to do what they want. And um, treat people like shit, really. Um, and this is one of the things that's happened to me, um, you know, just recently. Well, it was yesterday I terminated my contract and for numerous reasons, to be honest. And um, I was, I'll tell you a job... I, Right now, I was hired for, for a role which was for nights and was doing this role or whatever for a certain amount of time I think it was like 8 weeks and then got took off nights with with no notice so the company's policy is 28 days notice, so it might be 30 if we're moving you from nights onto days we'll give you we'll give you notice or vice versa, if we're moving you to days on tonight, we'll give you 30 days notice so you can get a new job. Well, anyway, they give us no notice. None. Give us one first aid as well, and there's more than 50 people. Uh, that's naughty, that. I mean, you have to have one first aid that's going to do compressions and breaths, yeah? So, yeah, until the ambulance gets a. Uh, well, I don't think that's reasonable practical if you ask me. You can't have one first aid in a. It's not wise to have one first aider anywhere. You need more than one. Now, who am I to say this? I was a lifeguard for 12 years, so I know about this kind of stuff. I know what happens when you don't. Um, I've seen many, many incidences when I, when, I, when I was a lifeguard, but not the start of no fire wardens, neither. You need fire wardens, really. Come down here where it's a bit more quieter. You need fire wardens, really. And um, yeah, so there was there was other. I had no uniform either, so they couldn't even give us any uniform. So um, I thought it was pretty tight, to be honest. I'm going to show you some messages actually at the end of this video, and I'm going to I'm going to hit, hit you up the messages that I sent. I've had no reply, and I'm not expecting a reply either. So this is what companies do. It's I think this is the third company I've given Section 44 to, and that basically means it's not safe to work. It's not safe to work uh, because there's only one first aider. Um, and obviously you're doing what you want you're not following any employment laws that you should be doing like I just explained about about you know if you're changing people changing people's shifts etc etc or changing hours I also was under the assumption when I took my job it was a 40 hour contract it was not they just t changed it to 20 when they chose to do it so uh, and then it was making us do more hours after outside the contract which for me if companies doing that there's obviously people that don't know what they're doing so realistically, if you're a manager, you need a knee bosh, which is a qualification that you really need. I've got a bachelor's degree, so it's knee bosh, IOSH, and then it's bachelor's, and then for me next, it'd be master's, and then a PhD, but it's not a route I want to go down, but I'm doing this video, obviously, because I'm in Bury today, because obviously, I feel my hand's been forced. My hand's been forced in the employment, in you know, obviously, when, when it comes to work. There's things I won't tolerate in the workplace, and... Um, this, is, this isn't the first time this has happened to me, it happens quite a lot, so, but yeah, I thought I'd do this quick video, just to, to, to mean, this happens quite a lot to me where I get employment problems, but it's, I think it's because I've got a bachelor's degree, um, this is usually where I can notice things, and if you're a manager and one of the peasants is saying something, you're not really going to listen, well, I hope they listen now because I left under the Health and Safety Work Act 1974 for not having um, sufficient trained personnel on site and that's first aiders and fire wardens um, so that, that's basically what I did and um, yeah so I'm going to I'm going to wake you up there with these messages that I sent 
that never got a reply and will not get a reply because, it, like I said, this is the first, this is not the only company I've done this to, um, and yeah, so um, so we're today to start a new beginning, a new journey, and that's why we're in Bury. So if your employer's fucking you about, man, just fucking quit, fuck it off, and go and get a new job because they don't deserve you. And the company I work for didn't deserve me either. And that's not me being begetted, it's fucking me saying, here, listen, if that's what you're doing, yeah, fucking people about with the shifts, not giving notice, not putting first aid personnel on site, not having a defibrillator, yeah, then fuck you, basically, I'm not I'm not working for you, you know what I mean? There's, the employment's a two-way fucking door at the end of the day, and if they're going to take the piss, then you just fucking quit. Now, where I works, yeah, it's got the highest turnover uh, staff, um... It, that I'm aware of there's no other site that has a highest, higher turnover than that so what does that tell you it tells you the, the place is either cursed or you know there's, there's poor management going on it could be a combination of both but I'm not here to tell you about where about what you know the last employment that I had what the problem was I don't really care what the problem was what I care about now is moving on moving on for, for you know employers basically that, that take the fucking piss so um if y'all know what fucking, I don't need to tell you I work for yet. I'd rather get paid first and then come out of it after. So yeah, we're just in this field talking a lot of shit basically. I'm having a lot of rant basically. So yeah, I'll show you a bit more of Bury basically. So this is what section 44 kind of looks like with termination of contract with immediate effect. This is used um, quite often on building sites where you're unhappy with the working conditions. Usually when you give a section 44, your employee does not reply because they can't. They can't reply and they don't want to be found out. Uh, but anyway, um, I'll just talk to you a little bit more about this. The employers don't reply to this because they've got no integrity and it's because they can't reply to this and it's because they know they've been found out but this time I'm not going to tell you it is. It is. I do also want to mention that I was unaware of the fire assembly point um, when really I should know in case there's a fire. Um, again, you know, it's fire safety really. Fire safety and first aid, it's really an important aspect of any working workplace to keep a duty of care really and to do what's really practicable in the health and safety work at that. So if you watch me on this channel and maybe you watch some some, uh, some of my ghost stories or whatever, uh, ghost videos, then I think Bury's, Bury might be a new site for us to explore, because Bury's obviously it's got loads of stuff as Bury. I think it's got something called like the... the um, it's a heat bridge I heard, and it's something to do with some bog arts or something. People that made the um, people that made the bridge or whatever, but I'm not sure. Anyway, this is my video for today. Some dude fishing, look, lovely day for fishing. Hopefully, he catches a big dirty pike. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Day for fishing. So the um, I give my employer what's called a section 44. So that basically means. This is used on building sites a lot. Basically means you, you, you're not comfortable with the conditions and you're terminating your contract. And that's basically what that means. So if, you, if, you, if you're not happy with the working conditions, just give your employer a section 44. Now you can stay and talk about it, but they'll just chat absolute shit. So, anyway, I better find where I'm going, because I've never been here before. So uh, nice for watching this video, or this quick video. So really that was my rant about my my other job. There's other people that worked with me that will have their own stories as well. So um, it's, a, it's a wonderful day. And it couldn't come at a better time. And you know, this this happened yesterday, this where I quit my job. And the next day I've got a new job. And this has happened quite a lot. And I really believe that's because that's because God's on my side. <coughs> see this like when I'm out and about at night time which I'm sure some people have seen this already but I know people that aren't as lucky that um, I was talking to someone before and they're obviously they're not working there now and they're struggling to get work so but each case is different and timing is also crucial and having a background in certain things also helps so it's funny how I can just leave one job and go to another straight away but this happens but um, yeah sometimes there's things I just won't tolerate in the workplace and you know 
<clears throat> I've been a I've been a union rep before, and all management do they just lie for the fault, you know, for the for their failings, and they try and blame you or blame somebody else. Or it's not often you get self accountability from from managers or whatever, where they'll just put their hands up and said, "Yeah, right, I've you know I fucked up," and there's none of that, and that's usually why I walk because, well, you want the truth, really. Anyway, as you can see, it's a lovely day, and we'll start the new journey. <laughs> With work. <laughs> so look at it around here, it's beautiful. So although it's, it's a bit of a rant video, it's a bit of a nice video as well because nice little farms going on. I think I'm going the right way actually. Or maybe I'm not. So I'm supposed to be there for 10 a.m. I think it's half past nine or something now. So look at these old barns here, look. Maybe it's up here. Anyway, I'll put it here, make sure I'm in the right place. It did look a bit sketchy that way. I don't think it is that way, to be honest. I think it's down here. So, it's just farms up there, innit? I don't think there's any jobs up there, do you? <laughs> so, not really much else to say, really, apart from, you know, I was really disappointed with <clears throat> with the company I worked for. I showed no empathy towards the staff. None. Zero. Fucking zilch. And for a company, the stature that they are, they should have a bit more consideration for duty of care, not just for the staff, but for the customers as well that, that come. But there's zero, none. It's all about figures, it's all about numbers. It's all called to do with safety, which is really disappointing to be honest. So I'm hoping someone in the HSE gets wind of this video. <clears throat> but they probably won't. But who cares? It's what Google's for. Anyway, I think I'm here now. Anyway, so I'm just going to um, end this video with a couple of things from my subscribers, basically, for the, for the people that watch every video. Um, I have to fund my own channel, so basically it means I have to work, so all my videos I have to obviously fund myself. There's no pot, there's no magic money, you know what I mean? So uh, um, the reason why I'm telling you this is because my videos are funded by basically my employer, so I need an employer to work. Uh, it's very hard for me to do without, without any funds, so obviously I have to live too, but i still got to work for a living and try to make my content. You know what I mean? It's, some videos I'm lucky because they don't cost me anything, so I can just go out walking somewhere and make a video. Where, but you can't just keep doing that, you've got to start to invest, you know, for, for your channel or whatever. But um, my induction's finished now, and hopefully next week I'll be in work. So, fingers crossed, um, I won't work for the devil ever, you know what I mean? If, you, if you're not putting people at risk, I won't have anything to do with you. And that's a company that's bigger than me, but I really don't care because I refuse, basically, to work with people that don't follow the rules that they're supposed to follow, employment, employment rules, and they just do what they want, which is quite... Um, it happens quite often, especially in men, as abuse position of power. But women do this also, where they'll be in a position and they'll have an ego, basically. Uh, and I did a short recently saying the ego is the enemy. And that's true, really, um, if you ask me. But anyway, um, nice to watch this quick video. This is just a video about me and some of the things I go through. Um, you know, it's I don't mind making it public, to be honest, because... Um, I feel people should know that watch me, you know, away from, away from the videos that I do and from the personal things that I go through, um, you know. But this is the case for a lot of people, I'm not trying to make this, this out to be some kind of attention-seeking video. I'm trying to raise awareness when it comes to employment in the workplace and what certain bosses will make you do or not make you do or ask you to do something that's, and not give you any PPE. For example, yeah? 
another company I work for um, they wanted to put me up in the air with no training so you need training to go up in the air basically means you, you're getting on a stack of truck um, and you're being lifted by a cage up in the air you need a harness and you need training for that they give me the harness but no training so I terminate my contract straight away um, the company, that company was absolutely shocking at fucking health and safety honestly um, again, you know, they didn't reply to what I was telling them is he putting me up in the air with no training they didn't give a fuck, they didn't reply so you get smashed on Google so everyone can see what kind of a business business that you are lucky for me I'm a Google guide so uh, you know Google will send me certain assignments so uh, they'll say can you can you investigate this can you review this can you see if this is true whatever and you'll see my name on, on a lot of Google places I've been to you've only got to go to it on Google and you can see where I've been and what I've been doing um, who I'm reviewing and who I'm not reviewing but this isn't about really reviews this is about the truth and um, that's it basically so that's the end of my video today so hopefully I'll see you soon in the darkness